Good day everyone. Today we will be discussing about common and decimal fractions and percent. So as you can see in this slide, you will have their common fractions and the non-common fractions. So for common fractions, you have the ones where the numerator and the denominators are bo both integers and not a fraction. Like for example, we have here 1 half, 3 6, 9 over 18, 27 over 54. Both the denominators and the numerators are integers and not a fractions. So if you have this, 1 half over 4, then this is not a common fraction because the numerator is a fraction. And then when you have this 3 over 2 over 6, then this is still not a common fraction because the denominator has a fraction. Okay? As well as with your 1 over 3 over 18 and 27 over 2 over 3. Okay? So again, the definition for your common fraction is the one where the numerator and the denominators are both integers and not a fraction. Okay, for our common fractions example, we have example number one. If the adult dose of a medication in, in two teaspoons full, calculate the dose of a child if it is one-fourth of the adult dose. Okay, so what is asked? We have to calculate the the child's dose if it is again one-fourth of the adult dose. So what is the adult dose? We have two teaspoons full. Okay, so for our solution, we have to write it this way. Okay, one-fourth, it is the dose of a child. One-fourth dose of a child. So we have one-fourth times two over one. So if we have two teaspoons full, this is the dose for the adult, we have to write one in the denominator to make it a fraction. Okay, so in the rules of multiplication or multiplying fractions, we have to simply multiply the numerators and the denominators. So one times two, we have two. 4 times 1 is 4. And then for our final answer, we have to simplify it. Okay, so 2 and 4 are both divisible by 2. So 2 divided by 2 is 1 and 4 divided by 2 is 2. And this is our simplified answer. Okay, so for again the final answer, we will have 1 half teaspoon. Okay, so we have to carry the units that has been asked. Okay, so let us, we have example number two. We have, if a child's dose of a cough syrup is three-fourths teaspoonful and one-fourth of the dose, calculate the corresponding adult dose. Okay, so what is asked? We have to again calculate the adult dose. We are given a child's dose, which is three-fourths teaspoonful and one-fourth. So we have to write it this way, okay? Three fourths divided by one fourth to get the adult dose, okay? So in the rules of our division or dividing fractions, we have to use the reciprocal of the second term, okay? So what is the reciprocal of the second term? We have four over one because one fourth. is again needed to be in a reciprocal form, okay? So, it it becomes 4 over 1. So, once we reciprocate the second term, then we have to also change the operations from divisions to multiplication. So, in the rules of multiplying fractions, we have to simply multiply the numerators and multiply the denominators. So, 3 times 4 is 12 and 4 times 1 is 4 so to simplify both of this numerator and the denominator 12 and 4 are both divisible by 4 so 12 divided by 4 is 3 and 4 divided by 4 is 1 so we have 3 teaspoon we have 3 teaspoons full okay 
So this is the simplified answer. Again, if you are going to write your final answer, it should be in a simplified form. Okay, let's move on to our decimal fraction. A decimal fraction is a fraction with a denominator of 10 or any power of 10 expressed decimally rather than as a common fraction. Okay, so this is easier. Okay, so 1 over 10 is expressed as 0 0.10. Okay, so how do we get 0 0.10? Again, we simply divide the numerator to its denominator. So 1 divided by 10 is 0 0.10. Okay, and then next we have 45 over 100. Okay, so 45 divided by 100 is expressed as 0 0.45. Okay, so that is how you get the decimal fractions. And again, this is not a common fractions. We have to use the um, the decimal fractions okay for the decimal fractions we have to convert a common fraction to a decimal fraction by dividing the numerator to its denominator okay here's another example we have 1 over 8 is it is equal to 1 divided by 8 is 0 0.125 okay to convert a decimal fraction to a common fraction, express the decimal fraction as a ratio and reduce. Okay, so now our next step, we have to convert the decimal fraction to a common fraction. So we have the first example, 0 0.25. Then we will express this as 25 over 100. And the simplified answer is 1 fourth because 25 and 100 are both divisible by 25. So 25 divided by 25 is 1 and 100 divided by 25 is 4. So the answer is 1 fourth. Percent. So let us move on with our percent. Percent, or we have here the symbol of percent, means in 100. So, for example, we have 50%. It means 50 parts in each 100. Okay? Another, we have 75%. It means to say that we have 75 parts in 100. Okay? And then next, we have 80%. It means 80 parts in 100. So, how do you convert a percent into a decimal? So, 5%, we have again... 5 parts in 100. So 5 over 100 or 5 divided by 100 is 0 0.05. That this is how we convert a percentage into a decimal fraction. Okay, so another example we have 75%. 75% is 75 parts in 100. Okay. Or we have 75 divided by 100 is 0 0.75. Okay, how about converting a decimal into a fraction? You simply multiply by 100. Okay, like for example, we have 0 0.25. To convert this to a percent, then we are to multiply this by 100. So 0 0.25 times 100 is 25%. And then 0 0.75 times 100 is 75%. For our practice problems, I am re requesting everyone to please take your time to answer these problems because you will be using this also in your exercises, C-Trick and your quizzes okay so everyone i am requesting you to please take time to answer this practice problems okay thank you very much